One type is the maximizer. I have to make the ultimate best decision ever. And then there's the satisfizer, which is the person who just, it's okay, that's good enough. I, in some areas of my life, am a maximizer. And then in some other areas of my life, am a satisfizer. It's very much contextual based. You know, yeah. so there'll be heaps of stuff that I'm happy for it just to fly through to the keeper. I won't give it much thought. I'm pretty satisfied with it. But then if there's things that are very aligned, then I think I'd strongly lead to maximizing. I think when you do maximize in areas that are important to you, to me, it actually mm. helps. Like I actually enjoy that process. I actually felt the same way. I mean, the book was just pushing us towards being a satisfizer. Look, lower the expectations and good enough is good enough. And I think that's a dangerous place to be. Like that goes against a lot of what I believe. You know, when it comes to creating something, like right now I'm creating something for a big client of mine. And to me, the process of maximizing is very important. I think it's very important to go through everything with a fine tooth comb and making sure that is as perfect as possible. However, though, I read this book because I found myself to become, you know, just in life, as you get access to more choices, you start to feel overwhelmed and you start to become slightly unhappy. So again, I think it's just in some places, you've got to apply the maximizer mindset. And then in some places, apply the satisfizer. Like, who cares what soap brand you get? So I think that there's key places where it can actually destroy you. And then there's key places where it can actually enhance you. You just have to choose carefully what those things are.